Hi, my name is Andrew and I'm with Razorback Off-Road and today I'm going to be going over on how to install your 2019 Razor 1000 front folding windshield. So when you receive your product, um, you can pull it out of the packaging and lay it out kind of like I have, um, however you want to do that. Um, we include all of the hardware that you'll need to install it so you don't need to worry about anything else. Some of the tools that you'll be required for the installation will be, you'll need a 3 8 and a 17 or 7 16 box wrench, you'll need a T40 bit, you'll need a 15 and a 7 16 socket, you'll need a uh, ratchet of some kind, you'll need a number three Phillips, you'll need a flathead screwdriver, and you'll need a 7 17 64 drill bit. Now if you don't have a 17 64 drill bit, it's okay, you can use a quarter inch drill bit and that'll get you to get, you, get the job done for you. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start with the uh, front the top visor and for that you're going to need a drill and the 1764 inch drill bit so so when you first are about to start drilling polaris has this uh, stock visor as you can see here and if you look on the back of this visor you'll see some little indentations that they did that's kind of stamped in from the factory and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drill out every single one of those holes. Um, if you really are kind of confused, you can use this as kind of uh, a template and you can lay it out accordingly as so. But you should be able to notice that the pattern is very obviously stamped in the stock razor visor. Now I want to, I want to caution you when you, are drill when you are drilling, when you do drill through this, and for the sake of this video, I've already pre-drilled all the holes, so I'm just going to kind of go over some some warnings with you. When you do drill and you come through and once you make it through your your uh, material here, you want to make sure you don't go too far because if you go too far, as you can see, you'll end up hitting the top of your visor. So I must caution you, please be careful when you're drilling as to not push through too hard because then you'll scratch up and you could notch out your top visor here. So I just want to give you guys a word of caution. Now, once you're done drilling, you'll take your top visor, as so, and you'll use the quarter inch, you'll use the quarter inch flange bolts, and you'll start, I usually will start in the middle, and I'll install at least one screw. You wanna grab 10 of these. So you wanna grab 10 screws and 10, uh, 10 nuts here. And I usually will kind of set them up here. So you'll begin your installation. And I just kind of hand tighten them for now. So once you've installed all of the bolts that are required for the visor here, you're going to need to want to you're going to want to grab a 3/8 wrench and a 7/16 the socket. So I usually will use the 3/8 wrench for the front here and then I use the deep socket for the back and then you want to just tighten this down with the with the wrench. And when you do tighten it, you don't want to tighten it too much. You want to snug it up really well, though. Um, if you tighten up too much, you could damage, you could potentially damage the plastic that's here in the back. So just snug it down as tight as you can. They are nylocks, so they shouldn't walk out on you when you're riding. So once you finish installing your top visor, now you're gonna go into the window rests, is what we call them. And they look like this. Um, but before we go into the installation of that, you're gonna need to remove the factory bolt that's on the side, that's holding up the, uh, the plastic here. Um, you're gonna need a T40 bit. And I have it just here in the socket. You can use a hand, uh, hand driver or a hand tool. And then what, I, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to remove these bolts here. And go ahead and remove both, both of them on both sides. So 
So once you get that started, you're gonna take it out. Okay, so that's gonna come out. And then there's a little metal clip that's inside there holding in the, uh, this, this bolt here. So you're gonna wanna try to carefully remove that. And it's just this little metal clip. And so that, that goes together like that. So you remove from both sides. So the purpose of removing this bolt is so that it'll kind of give you a starting point. You're actually gonna be using this pre-existing hole to install the brackets with. So you're gonna kind of remove it. Okay, so I got that all removed. Okay, we're gonna come back over here. So now I'm gonna go over the, the window rests. So if, you're, if you get into a situation where you're confused about which side goes on which, just always as a general rule of thumb, always make sure that this rubber strap is always facing the outside of the vehicle. So as you can see, I will make sure that the rubber is facing the outside here of the vehicle. And you're gonna use this middle hole right here as your starting point. And you're gonna use a bolt to start with this hole and then you're gonna use this as a template to drill out the bottom two holes here. Um, I've already pre-drilled just for the purpose of this video to kind of speed things up. I've already pre-drilled the holes here. And so now I'm gonna go ahead with the installation of the bolts. So you're gonna, you're gonna wanna use the stainless hardware. So it's a stainless, it's, it's a stainless Phillips head bolt. You are going to use a quarter inch washer and you're gonna wanna use the stainless nylock nut. So just set those right there. So you go ahead and st start with your top hole here. And what you want to do is you actually want to tighten this. So you want to tighten this bolt the way it is. And then you want to align it with the body as shown here. So once you have that alignment, then you use this as your template to drill through. And you're going to use the same exact drill bit that we used before to do the installation of the upper visor. So once you have those holes drilled, you'll install this. And you'll need You'll need a 7 16 inch wrench and then also the number three Phillips head screwdriver. So. So you'll tighten that. So once you install your bolts, you'll install the rest of your hardware. Okay. So once you finish installing these bolts, you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Once you finish installing the window supports, now you're gonna be moving on to insta installing the lower window panel. And what I usually will do to start with is I'll go ahead and I'll install these lower brackets first. I like to install it onto the lower panel. It just makes it a lot easier for the installation. So how you can tell these apart on which side's which is you're gonna to wanna to, um, basically follow this curve and this curve is gonna match the body of the vehicle. So I'll actually follow this curve right in here on the body of the vehicle. So I know that this is gonna go on the driver's side. So if I'm looking at my panel like this, I know this will be installed on this side and then this will be installed on the other side. They're mirror parts. So when you do this, what I usually will do is you take two of the stainless bolts here and you're gonna want, or sorry, you're gonna want one stainless bolt and you're gonna to wanna to take two washers and a stainless steel nylock nut. So then what you'll do is you'll install these. So first, 
First, you'll put a washer on the bolt, then you'll install it. You put another washer on top of that, and you'll install the nut. Like that. Okay, and you're gonna do all, you're gonna do, need to do four of these. So you're gonna do the same thing. So do two on this side and you're gonna do two on the other side. So I'll go ahead and grab all my hardware. I'll do the same thing to the other side. Once again, bolt, washer, washer, and nut. Now when you put these on, don't really tighten down any of these bolts yet because um, you're gonna wanna put it on the machine. So before we can even actually move on to this, we're gonna need to take and remove the stock factory bolt that's here on, on the roll cage assembly. You're gonna to want to remove just the bottom one though. You don't wanna remove both of them, just the bottom one. So you're gonna to need to take your 15 millimeter tool socket here and you're gonna to wanna to remove completely remove the bolts. All right, and you wanna make sure you save the stock um, nut because you're gonna wanna use that for when you put on the other bolts. We, we provide hardware and you're gonna wanna use these bolts for the installation, but go ahead and take both off. So once you take both that, save the nut. Okay. So now at this point, make sure you have your nuts. You're gonna to wanna to take, these are M10 bolts and we provide that for you. You wanna just kinda of keep these together. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to take your panel and you're gonna to wanna to just basically slide it right over the top where those existing bolts would go. Just like so. So go ahead and take your bolt and put it in there. Grab your nut. You're gonna to wanna to try to fish it in on the other side here. There's actually a little cutout in the roll cage itself where the nut kind of fits right in and then you kind of use that as basically your, your tool there. So kind of get it snugged up and then you're gonna take the bolt to the other side. And do the same thing. All right, once you get that started, so you're gonna go ahead and grab your, your socket, okay? And then go ahead and snug these down. And you're gonna to have to hold the nut on the other side because it's gonna to wanna to push it out on you. So you wanna hold it up against the, the roll cage here and go ahead and tighten it. And go ahead and tighten it all the way. Okay, and you do the same for the other side. So now you're going to tighten up the lower bolts. You're going to want to take your Phillips head again and your 7 16 wrench. And what I usually will like to do is I like to start with the bottom one first. Just makes it a lot easier. So start with the bottom one first and tighten it down. And when you're tightening it down, you want to make sure that you're putting some force applying some force to this lower panel at the same time. So you want to put some force down on it and tighten this lower bolt. Okay, you want to snug it down. And you want to do the same thing to the other side. All right, once you finish installing both of the lower bolts, you're gonna wanna come back through and tighten up the upper ones now. OK, 
Okay, make sure they're good and tight. So yeah, you wanna just tighten up both of the uppers. best as you can. So once you're done installing your four bolts on the lower panel here, you're gonna to wanna to install your front window here. So what I usually like to do is I'll set the window on the window supports and then I'll gently set the stainless steel hinges on top of each other. And you're gonna to wanna to try to work in those plates between each other. Okay, you're gonna to have to do both sides. that and now you're going to want to grab your hardware and it should be your last bolts it's the stainless bolts once again it takes one stainless bolt and one nylock nut and you'll work it through you can actually install it like so from the top so go ahead and place that on there Now take your Phillips and your 17 inch, 7 16 inch box wrench and go ahead and snug that together. Now you kind of, you just want to snug it. You don't really want to over tighten it. Otherwise it probably won't hinge very well. So just make sure it's just snug just to prevent any, any rattling. So just make sure it's nice and snug. but not too snug. All right. So once you're done with that, your window should be good to go. Flip it up and just make sure that, you know, all of the latches work well and everything like that. Make sure all the bolts are secure. Make sure everything is fit and functioning well. And that basically concludes the installation of your front folding windshield. Um, I would like to now divert your attention to uh, another machine that we have, the Razor 900. So this is another front folding windshield that Razorback Off-Road offers. Um, this is for the Razor 900. It also works with uh, the Razor 1000 from the years 2015 to 2018. And you'll install this windshield exactly the same as the 2019 Razor 1000 video that we showed before. And you'll install the upper panel, then you'll install your lower brackets, and then you'll install your lower panel. Now with this particular assembly, we ship this already assembled with it on the hinges. And so when you do install the lower panel, you just gotta make sure that when you install it, that you'll push down to where this will seal up against the hood as best as you possibly can. Um, you'll install the lower bolts first, just like the previous video, and also you, and then you'll go back through and you'll install the upper, or tighten the upper bolts. Um, this front folding windshield is compatible with aftermarket mirrors. Um, as you can see, the foam will just fold over the brackets and it will, is compatible with aftermarket mirrors. So, thanks for watching. I um, hope to see you out there on the trail. Please check out any new and upcoming products from Razorback Off-Road. Follow us on our Facebook and our Instagram and we'll see you out there on the trail.